This is the DJI Osmo Action 4. Today we're gonna dive in and talk about why it, along with other action cameras, might be that perfect all-in-one for your YouTube channel. Just a little bit more durable than the iPhone and a little less complicated than the interchangeable lens camera I'm using right now. Let's dive in and talk about it. Now that we're filming on the Osmo Action 4, I wanted to start this off by saying it has nothing to do with quality and everything to do with conveniency. If I wanted higher quality, I'd switch back to the APS-C you just saw, which does 4K and a higher bit rate with bigger pixels that let in more light and an interchangeable lens system that allows me to get that blurry bokeh in the background. This Osmo Action has fantastic quality, so do GoPros, but one thing I wanted to mention is it's a dedicated camera system, which is one reason why I like it better than the phone, so I don't get interrupted by something like a phone call or the vibration, which sometimes even picks up in the audio. The Action 4 also has an SD card, which allows me to remove the footage, pop it right into my computer, and drop everything into Premiere. It's awesome to use your phone, but airdropping things back and forth gets a little complicated, and just transferring from your iPhone doesn't work that well. Android might be a different experience, but for me and my Apple ecosystem, the Action 4 is fantastic and just a little bit more convenient to use than my phone or even something like my M6 Mark II. So I have to go return a few things from Amazon, and this is a perfect time to emphasize my second point while driving, the portability of the Action camera. I have it mounted to my dash right now. The Action 4 or GoPro can be mounted to the dash, windshield, or any convenient angle that you need it to. I have a video that I posted, if you didn't check it out, of me strapping it around my neck with my favorite mount, the hanging neck mount, which I actually just, I keep right here. So I could magnetically take it off of this mount and just snap it right onto here and around my neck. So that's pretty cool with the Action 4 and the magnetic mount system. While we're still in the car, I wanted to show you guys one more thing, and that's how well these cameras work in an extremely windy audio environment. That's why I switched into the ultra wide field of view. So you can see me roll down all the windows, including the sunroof, and put the AC on full blast while we're going about 55 miles an hour. When I was in Iceland last year, my Insta360 Go To saved my butt on the side of the volcano. It was extreme wind and hail and rain and the crackling of the lava. My, sh my shotgun mic on my Canon M50 couldn't handle it. The pickup was too much, but the Insta360 Go To with its auto gain as it was going, as it was going on, I was able to get clear audio. Not crisp, but clear audio and save the day. So how does this DJI Osmo Action 4 sound in an extremely windy environment? Because I think it sounds pretty fantastic if you ask me. We're gonna head back home and talk about some other aspects of what makes this a great camera for YouTube. But with that being said, let me know what you think of the audio all out of camera with the wind enhancement on down below. Now let's talk about some things I've already tested that just add to the action for making a great camera for YouTube. The stability in this camera is just phenomenal. The GoPro and any camera from Insta360 are right up there. In this clip that I'm showing you right now, you can see me messing around. I have the camera extended all the way out and it's keeping everything nice and stable. One thing you have is also the option for extreme slow motion like 4K 120 or 1080 240 frames a second. You could slow down that action or just something cool that you saw. Cool thing about action cameras, you don't have to worry about them in the weather. You can use them in any circumstance. They are dust proof, shock proof, crush proof, and waterproof down to 60 feet in some cases. If you combine everything we've talked about in this video, I would say the DJI Osmo Action 4 is a solid choice as a small dedicated camera for YouTube. It can get that action when you need it, or if you wanna take the time and set it up, check this out. You can even use the Action 4 as a studio camera when lit correctly. Let me know down below, would you guys use an action camera as your only camera for YouTube? Till then, I'm Bradley. I hope you all have a blessed one and stay savvy, my friends. Peace out.